Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Maluncha, and welcome back to New World. We took a look at everything that was in addition to Season 4, guys. And this time, we go further into our personal quests, and that is to complete all of the quests. Now, if we take a look at the map, we left off in Great Cleave here. And from what we can see, we basically have four more quests to do. So we do have the Ice of Life Expedition quest. So that is a repeatable quest we can do. Uh, we do have the Toy Makers request. It's an expedition quest, uh, repeatable one. So not going to go over those. But we do have the Perfect Piroshkish. We have the Belma Beasts. As good as my word. And the Curse that goes around. So today we find ourselves here and uh well right next to the right next right next to the bridge and it's like a little encampment here with two beautiful ladies and i wonder why why she's she's excited like he's she's jumping out she's ready to go look yeah <laughs> look at that she is ready to go so akshinya krupen what do you have for me you look like you could use a good meal just like those soul wardens. Like those soul? I am a soul warden. Supplies have been low up here. Tell me about it. Why? I haven't had new deliveries in quite some time, and it shows. I've got plenty of potatoes, but there are only so many ways you can cook them. That is true. You can add cheese and spices. I could, if we had any left. You know things are bad when even the cheese supplies run low. Tell That's true. What. You bring me some dried dill, crumbly aged cheese, and some tenderized meat, and I'll whip up some food for us. That sounds like a really good idea. A leftover ingredients, a collection of ingredients for you to cook with. Given as thanks for helping making the perfect piroshkish. Okay, so I presume that is a dish that is like I, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm going to Firefox right now, guys. I need to know. Is this a dish that actually exists? It's a uh, dough with cabbage, dill, and an egg. Apparently. There's no potatoes. A uh, piroshki filled with meat. Okay. So dried meat, dill, a couple eggs. And then... Cabbage and eggs, cheese, eggs, cheesy piroshki recipe. So it's a Ukrainian dish, guys. Okay, so it's a U Ukrainian dish. I really had to know. I, I love I love good food, and if they come up with food in games, I really just need to know. So yeah, let's accept the quest and see where we need to go for this quest. So 167 meters away, we need to go to Ostrak Glaive. So I presume we're gonna need to open some chests. And yeah, the mobs here all level 45. After the quest we done, we are basically going to the low ass mobs again. And they're really not gonna be any issue for us, right? Oh, well, maybe, maybe. Supply cash for what? Collect the dried dill from chests. Okay, so let's move forward. We're probably gonna come across multiple chests in this place. You're dead. A uh, bag of juniper berries. Oh, so the juniper berries are, again, how we can get our... Yeah, diamond chips and juniper berries and coins. And they're basically from defeating enemies, I believe. And we should be able to get three out of these. Let's go around, check out... We've got another supply cache here. So that's gonna be the dill. Okay. And then collect crumble a cheese as ostrich... Oh, we need to be in three different places. Okay, so one of the places is Ostrak City, and then the other the other one is Icy Wilds. Okay, let's mount up. Let's go see where we can find this aged cheese. Where is the entrance to this place? Is it through here? It is just a watchtower. Hmm. Oh, it's through the other side. Okay, okay, okay. 
to collect crumbled age cheese from chests. So yeah, it seems like in every location we're just gonna need to open a couple of chests. Not too difficult. Uh, where? We'll find them on the walls. And let's go up the walls. And yeah, let's uh, dismount. I said let's dismount. I said let's dismount. Yeah, there we go. Holy crap. Was it so hard to dis... Seriously, I just got up there. Are you gonna be... <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, let's pick this one. And yoink! Haha! <laughs> Can't follow me here! Let's do this one. Seems there's one below me. Pretty easy if we can pick this one up as well. There we go. All three almost in the same location. And let's head back out. To the... Uh, IT Wilds to collect tenderized meat from tainted stags. And that is gonna be... A little bit to the left here in the woods. What is uh 400 meters? Tainted stags, right? Yeah, we're already in the zone where we need to be. We see a couple tainted stags over the right side here. Let's see if they are the right ones. Swing and a miss, all three of them. Okay, got at least one kill of them. Got a couple of wolves here as well. Got a lot of stags here. Oh, I just started playing, guys, so my aim is really bad at the moment. And it does seem like it is a loot drop, not something you get from skinning. So I presume it's going to be 100%. But, well, if you take him down, skin him, I say. There we go. Done. I feel like Uncharted Landmark. A wolf, then, perhaps? Kind of would make sense with all the wolves now here. Alabaster wolves. What do we have here? Ooh, Pharaoh Antrim. Terror of the Cleave. Yeah, new for wolf then. He does summon a couple, but nothing too difficult. It does seem... Like the moment. Oh, look at that. So a bunch of wolves are actually coming into the cave. Back wolves. So once you trigger one, you trigger them all. It looks like it. A little addition, guys. Now they do despawn, so it's not really a farm you can do out of these guys for litter. Else that would be really, really good. But it is a pretty good farm for the trapped elk, though. Like, they get 55, and every time if the boss spawns, I presume he's gonna have, like, three elk next to them, right? That is actually a pretty good means to, like, get a couple letters in. Just once you come across the cave, just hop on in. And it seems we need to go to the outposts. They're not at their encampment anymore. Okay, interesting. Let's go get our goodie bag. Sinya. As a sin ax axinia. You did it! I almost can't believe it. It's been so long since I've seen something other than potatoes to eat. Tell me I'm not dreaming. Shall I pinch your cheek? To show you that you're not dreaming? Oh no, they are real. What are you gonna make? Piroshkis. Piroshkis. The flour for the dough, the onions, and so many potatoes. See, yeah, so dough, onions, it potatoes. Was really delicious with Still cheese, cheese, tender meat. Tender meat. We'll be feasting soon. Yeah, so it's a sort of bread that you're gonna make with with dill cheese and meat uh, stuffed inside of the bread. But they're gonna have like onions and potatoes as the like um, like the to make it a full course, right? Not only potatoes and not only onions, but like holy crap. It's, it's, it's almost one after midnight, but I'm getting hungry just from this quest alone. I got, I got some drool out of coming out of my, out of my, out of my mouth, actually. Uh, let's complete the quest, guys, and I'm gonna look if I have something left in my fridge to eat. Although it is pretty late after midnight, this quest really did get me hungry. 
But I'm gonna wrap it up for here, guys. So let's sit your ass down and end this episode up here. If you want to see more of my quest progression on my Let's Play here in New World or any other game that I might be playing on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.